new ratio. That's a new ratio. Yes, uh, they agree to share profit in the ratio of four is to three. So you uh, share the profit, you divide the profit in ratio, in profit sharing ratio. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Either it is old or new. So in the beginning, it is said that A and B are sharing profit and losses equally. Okay. Yes. So it is their old ratio. Clear to you? Which one? The four is to the three. No, no. A and B are sharing profit and losses equally. Okay. That's the old ratio. Yes. So it will be one is to one. One is to one. Yes. Okay. And uh, the new ratio is given with effect from 1st April 2016. They agree to share profit in the ratio of 4 is to 3. It means now they have decided to change the ratio to 4 is to 3. Yes. So it is new ratio. So, sir, how to calculate one skin ratio? Okay. Sacrifice equals what is the formula? Old ratio minus new ratio. Old ratio. Old ratio, can you uh, write in fraction for A and B? Yes. A is equal to 4 divided by 7 and B is equal to 3 divided by 7. It is old or new? It is the new one. New one. And the old one? Old one is 1 divided by 2 and B one is also divided. 1 divided by 2. Yes. Very good. So 1 by 2 minus 4 by 7 for A. 1 divided by 2 minus 3 by 7 for B. Is this clear? Yes, sir. I'm doing it on the paper. Yes, sir. It's good. Done? Yes, sir. Done. So, Actually, uh, you confused the ratio. Uh, you didn't get the old ratio part. Yes. Yes. And what what do you think of this four is to three? It is the new ratio. That is the new ratio now. But uh, in uh, at the time of doing your homework, I thought it was the old one, and uh, the new one I was not able to find. Uh, yes, so it is new one and the old one was equal. Yes. Okay. Is there any other doubt you have? Question number five. <laughs> Question number five. Two, three, and four is completed. Yes, sir. that's all. Okay. In question number third, what you have done? Same. <laughs> They are uh, sharing the profits equally. So the equal one is one raised to one raised to one, and the old are uh, five raised to three raised to two. Okay. So almost like question number one. Okay, that's it. Yes, sir. Actually, all these uh, four questions I was having doubt because of the ratio. Now I have solved the first one, so the all three I have solved. Okay, so in uh, third, it will be five by ten minus one by three. Yes. 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 And then three by ten minus one by three, and two by ten minus one by three. Yes. Okay. Okay. What about portion number four? Here, uh, I have um, multiplied uh, A's ratio, is, uh, I mean, A's profit is equals to 3 divided by 3 divided by 6 into 18,000. Okay. And the general entry, I couldn't do. Okay. So uh, the question is saying that A, B, C share profit and losses into 3 is 2 to 1. And with that from 1st April 2016, they agreed to share profits equally. So the new ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1. The goodwill yes. of the firm was valued at 18,000 past necessary 
kernel entry. So first of all, we need to calculate sacrifice gain. Yes. So have you completed it? Uh, the calculated. Have you calculated the sacrifice or gain? No, sir. In the between, I had to stop because I have got some works I went outside. Okay. So after the calculation, you will see that which partner is gaining and which one is sacrificing. Okay. Yes. And uh, whatever their gain or sacrifice is in fraction, not in ratio, in fraction, whatever their gain or sacrifice is, you will multiply that uh, fraction with goodwill. 18,000. Yes, 18,000. So, sir, which good, goodwill be removed? For what the name of that? Existing goodwill. Okay. Okay. And okay, uh, for this, the journal entry will be gaining partners capital account debit to sacrificing. So the name of partner who is gaining will be written on the debit side and the sacrificing partner name will be written on the credit side. Okay, sir. Noted. Okay. So this is our portion of four. What about portion of five? Uh, we have to use the table they have given the year profit. Yes. Profit and loss <laughs> also. Not uh, only profit, loss also. Yes. We have to. So, sir, can we do it once? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you see the one note here? Yes, sir. Okay, where is my pen? Yes. So it is portion number five. Okay. So the portion is saying that X, Y, and Z are partners sharing profit and losses in the ratio of five to three to two. From first April two thousand sixteen, they decided to share profits and losses equally. Now, uh, old ratio is given and new ratio is also given. The partnership deed provides that in event of any change in profit sharing ratio, the goodwill should be valued at two years purchase of the average profit of the preceding five years. The profit and losses of the preceding years are this. It is practice of the form not to show goodwill in the books. You are required to calculate goodwill and pass journal entry. Do you remember how to calculate goodwill? Yes, sir. Okay. You calculate the goodwill and I'm calculating the gaining sacrificing here. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So calculate the goodwill. Actually, we have studied this in our previous chapter. So I think you can do it. Yes. You have to see the portion. I can see the question in my laptop. Okay.
Sir, uh, to find the goodwill, first we have to find the average profit uh, found it, yes. and then normal profit. Uh, there is no capital <laughs> employed in normal rate of return. Okay, actually, uh, this is average method. In average method, mm -hmm. you don't need any normal rate of return and capital employed because you just multiply the average profit into number of year of purchase. Okay, so it is forty five thousand to two. 45,000 into two because two years purchase. Okay, so it is 90,000. Yes. Okay, so value of goodwill is 90,000. And then we will multiply the 90,000 with their sacrifice gain, which I have calculated in first step. You can see this? Yes. So, sir, how will we know that only we have to find average profit and not normal profit and super profit? In this question, it is given. Uh, the goodwill should be valued at two years purchase of the average profit. So, you have to stop till average profit only? Yes. Okay. If it is written that we have to calculate, uh, we have to calculate goodwill by multiplying uh super profit with number of your purchase then we you will we will use super profit method or otherwise it will be written capitalization okay okay so ninety thousand is goodwill five by thirty is sacrifice of a so it will be fifteen thousand for a it will be 3000 for B and it will be 12,000 for C. Now these two are gaining part and A is sacrificing. Journal entry is gaining partner's capital account debit to sacrificing partner's capital. You can see here. Yes, sir. Okay, so gaining partner's capital account debit to sacrificing partner's capital account. Gaining partner is B and C. So we will write B capital account debit. Sir, how did you understand that B and C are gaining partners here? Wait one minute. To A capital. Three thousand, twelve thousand, and fifteen thousand. Okay, so how we decide that P and C is gaining partner? You can see here yes, we have used the sure. formula of sacrifice and yes. this is positive. Okay. Okay. So this is your solution. Do you have any doubt? No, sir. So, question number four, five is completed. Now, uh, we have done question number six or not? Yes, sir. I think we have done it. Yes, we have done. Okay. So, in this question, existing goodwill is given. You can see here uh, in second line. After 1st April 2016, it is given that on that date, the goodwill appeared in the books. Goodwill? Appeared. Means it is existing. Existing goodwill. goodwill. Go, or you can say present goodwill. Okay. Okay, sir. So this is our goodwill concept. Now, after this, actually, uh, you have to remember these concepts. There is three chapters. Now, uh, there is three chapters related to reconstitution. First is change in PSR, which we have done in half, you can say. So we are doing it, okay? Now, after that admission, 
and then retirement and death. So what you study in this chapter will be in these two also, same. Many concepts related to a uh, change in profit sharing ratio will come into admission and retirement and death also, because these are similar chapter. These are related with reconstitution of partnership. So that's why the concept will be same. There may be a little bit change in every chapter as per the situation, but you have to study all the things in the same manner, like goodwill. You have to, uh, to study goodwill in admission, retirement, death. You have to study reserves, accumulated profit or loss. In these three chapters, you have to study the revaluation uh, in all these three and also the adjustment of capital. In change in PSR, adjustment of capital is very, uh, you can say, small concept here. But in, in admission and retirement, mainly in retirement, is a big concept. Okay. So these are the concepts that we have to study in all these three chapters. So if you will remember one concept in any of these chapters, then you can uh, do all the portion related with that concept in any of these three chapters. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. So you will remember the goodwill. After that, we are now starting our new concept that is uh, actually we have done this existing goodwill part. <laughs> yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, have you written this also? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, the next concept is accounting treatment of reserves accumulated profit or loss. Okay, sir. We have not completed it. I think it is completed. This one. No, sir. I think it's not completed. Okay. Okay. No problem. So, accounting treatment of reserves, accumulated profit or loss. Now, there are many reserves and profits or loss. So, These things are given in balance sheet, okay? So at the time of change in profit sharing ratio, if these items are given in balance sheet or in any uh, information in portion, then you have to adjust these items. Sometimes balance sheet is not given, so it will be given in portions in a different manner okay but if balance sheet is given then it will be shown on the liability side generally but sometime profit and loss account is also written in asset side okay can you tell me if profit and loss account is written on liability side or asset side then what does it mean uh -huh. You don't understand the question? Yes, sir. Can you repeat once more? Yes. I am saying if profit profit and loss, you know that it can be given on the liability side or asset side both? Yes. Okay. So if it is given on the asset side or if it is given on the liability side, then what does it mean? Why there is uh, why profit and loss account will be shown on different side. 
I think because it is a cash book. Profit and loss is cash book? No, sir. Then? I'm not having an answer. I'm saying that if this is your balance sheet, this is your liability side, and this is asset side. Let's say if profit and loss is given on the asset side, then what does it mean? Means uh, I have to tell the which format is this balance sheet. It's a balance sheet. Okay. Actually, if profit and loss account is on the liability side, then it means it is profit. And if it is given on the asset side, then it means it is a loss. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so you have to remember this concept because you don't know this. So you have to remember this also. I'm writing here. It is on liability side, it's profit and asset side, it's a loss. Yes. Please write this as a note. Okay. If profit and loss account is given in asset side or shown under liability side, then it is profit. And if it is given on the asset side, then it is loss. Okay. Okay. Please write this. Don't take a screenshot of this. Yes, sir. So. Okay, so now uh, on the change in profit sharing ratio date, okay, on the date of change, there can be some reserves, profit or loss, either profit or loss given in the quotient, okay? So it is related to past because if it is showing in the balance sheet, means it is earned, already earned, yes? Yes, sir. And if it is already earned, it is related to past, not future, not project. Because in <coughs> because in present, if we earn something, then it will be shown in next year reserve or profit. Yes. Yes. So it is related to past. Means if we are changing the profit sharing ratio right now, then these profit or balance of reserve should be distributed between partners or should be removed from the balance sheet and uh, divided between partners in their old profit sharing ratio. Yes or no? Yes. Because let's say if you are running a shop, okay, if you are running a shop 
and I want to join your firm, your company as a part. Okay. Now, on the date of my joining, there is 50,000 profit, or you can say resolve that you have saved from profit. Okay. okay. Uh, so there is 50,000 of resolve in your balance sheet, in your uh, bank. Then what will you do with the reserve? Because if reserve kept in the business for future purpose, then it will be distributed between you and me both. Yes. Yes. So to avoid this, what will you do? I will take it. Yes, you will uh, take take the money and uh, close the general reserve account. Close the yes. account in which remove from the business. Is. Yes, so that I don't know, or if I know, then it is already distributed, so I cannot claim it. Yes. Okay, and if I say to you that you should leave this money into the business then you will say it is past profit it is uh, only only uh, for me okay it cannot be distributed between me and you yes yes so in the same manner if there is any change in profit sharing ratio let's say there is three partners a b and c and they are distributing the profit into three is to two is to one but now they decided to change the profit sharing ratio is one is to one is to one okay okay now let's say there is three lakh profit shown in balance sheet and if it is distributed in old ratio then a will get one lakh fifty thousand we will get 90,000 and C will get 60,000. Okay. Okay. And if it is distributed in this ratio, then A will get 1 lakh, B will get 1 lakh, C will get 1 lakh. Yes. Yes. Now, C is a gaining partner here. You can see if it is distributed in old ratio, then C uh, is getting. 60,000, but a new ratio is getting 1 lakh. So he will be happy that I'm getting 40,000 more. But yes, A will, A will say that it is not correct. The profit is related to past. So we should distribute it in 3 is to 2 is to 1. Yes or no? Yes. Because only A is uh, losing something. B and C is benefited yeah. from this, this season. Yes. Yes. Now, so A will, you can say, uh, say that uh, this is not correct. Okay. So in this situation, if any one partner is not agree, not agree with the decision, then it cannot take place in partnership. You know that. Yes. Because uh, we need <laughs> consent of every partner for. We need consent of, yes, for taking any uh, big decision. <laughs> this actually small decision can be taken individually, but uh, any big decision can be done with the consent of all the partners. Yes. So if A is not agree, then we cannot take this decision. We cannot imply, uh, sorry, apply this decision on the form. Okay. Okay, sir. Oh. So in this situation, there is two cases also. We'll discuss these two cases. First is when we have to close our reserve accumulated profit or loss account. And second, when we don't close, we uh, keep open our general reserve accumulated profit or loss. Okay. So there is these two situation. In first situation, as you already understood the concept, I think that we have to distribute any profit or loss given in the quotient. We have to distribute it in the old profit sharing ratio. Yes. Yes. Okay. So if a quotient do not say to distribute the profit, okay, it is not uh, given any information about profit distribution, but there is a reserve in balance sheet. Okay. Okay, sir. 
there is a resolve in balance sheet and uh, there is no other information about its accounting treatment. So what will you do then? I will distribute it according to the, uh, the past ratio. You will distribute it without giving any information in the quotient? No, I'll see the information, the question also. No, no, actually it is not given in quotient. I told you that all the information is given, but there is no information given about distribution. Just in balance sheet, there is a reserve is uh, given in balance sheet liability side, but there is no accounting treatment information given in the portion. So, so there will be no ratio also? No, ratio will be given. Ratio then according is, uh, to ratio, I'll distribute. So you will distribute it without uh, given the information? No, and the reserves also in the balance sheet. Okay. Actually, I'm not getting your answer. You are saying that if reserve is given here, 3 lakh, and uh, the old ratio is given, new ratio is also given, and other informations are given in the portion like revaluation and uh, goodwill, uh, this information is also given, and there is no information for this result. Then, what will be your action? What will you do? I will distribute the results according to the new ratio. According to new ratio? Yes. Why? Because there is no information, that's why. So if there is no information, then what do you think? The reserve is related to the future? No, it's past. So why it will be distributed in your future? Because there is no information regarding uh, the past ratios. I have given you old ratio, new ratio. So then I'll distribute in old ratio. Okay, that's why I'm asking that there is no information for distribution of reserve. So you will distribute it or not? Yes, I'll distribute it. Yes. So that is a correct answer because we don't need any information for distribution of reserve. It is a past profit. So before doing, before changing anything into the business, we have to remove, we have to distribute all the past profit, either explicitly given in the question or it is implied. So we have to adjust all the profit or loss or goodwill given in the question without giving any information about it. If uh, they have given you old ratio and new ratio, then you will adjust all the items. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. Sir. So we don't need any additional information. We will take this reserve and distribute it in old ratio. Always remember that generally we distribute our reserves profit and loss in old ratio because these profits are related to past so it should be distributed in past ratio okay. okay now the second case is second case is little bit complicated uh, we will discuss it in our next class but uh, i am giving you information so that you can solve these type of portion also okay now, what will be the journal entry for this? You can see here, uh, there is a first case when reserve or profit or loss account is to be closed. To be closed means we have to distribute the profit or reserve balance between parties. Now, what does it mean by closed? So whenever there is an account open, let's say 
there is a count of resolve. Now, can you tell me uh, resolve always have which balance, debit or credit? Um, credit. Credit information, uh, credit balance, sorry. Yes. Yes, that is correct. So, if the balance is credit, let's say it is given here like by balance BD, 3 lakh, okay? And we want to close this account. So, what we have to do? Close this account yeah. means you don't leave any balance in the account. So you have to distribute it. So what we have to do here? In this account, what will be the accounting treatment in this account? By balance. Uh, if you write the balance, then it means it is not closed. By till been by it. Okay, so we will write anything with three lakh on the debit side. So there will be equal total on both sides, and there will be no balance. If you don't write it here, then uh, let's say we if we total the amount. then we will get here two balance bd uh two balance cd three lakh yes yes it means it will go in next period also because the balance we get in uh, at the end of carry forward it to next period also okay sir. Okay. So, uh, so if uh, we get the balance at the end of the period, then it is carry forwarded to next period. Yes. Yes. Okay. So if we get a uh, debit balance, then it is transferred to credit side in next period. And if we get credit balance, then we transfer it to debit side in next period. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it means the account is not closed but we want to close the account so we cannot calculate balance here yes yes what we will do we will write here three lakh in the name of any other account. we cannot write balance okay so name of any other account. in this case we have to distribute it between partners so we will write to partners capital it means this three lakh of resolve is transferred to capital account, okay? Okay, And the account will be closed because there is three lakh on both sides and there will, be, there will be no balance. Okay, sir. So this is called when accounts is to be closed. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, so this is closing of forward account now. So in this first case, you can see here, uh, there is two journal entry given. Solution is in this case, all the profit or loss will be distributed between partners in their old profit sharing ratio. 
journal entry will be passed separately for profit or loss. Okay. So if there is also some profit given and uh, some loss is given in the portion, then you have to pass journal entry separately for profit and loss. So there will be two entry if profit and loss both is given in the portion. Okay. So you can see here there is different types of profit given. Uh, general reserve, profit and loss account, workman compensation reserve account debit, investment fluctuation reserve account debit. These are type of profit type of reserve. Okay. Okay. Sir. So for this, for distribution of reserve and accumulated profit, you will pass journal entry this general reserve account debit, for profit and loss account debit, workman compensation reserve account debit, investment fluctuation reserve account debit to partners capital account. So you will add all these items of profit and then distribute it in the old ratio. Okay, sir. Okay, and you will do the same calculation for distribution of loss also. If there is different type of loss given in the portion, let's say two or three types of loss, then you will add all the loss and then distribute the total of loss between partners in their old profit sharing ratio. So the journal entry is, for distribution of accumulated loss, it is partner's capital account debit to profit and loss account to fictitious assets account. Okay. 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 So uh, actually, I have not done any portion for this topic. So if you can try, you can do it, but uh, I will not give you the homework for this concept. Okay. So you have to complete your previous class homework. That is okay, goodwill. Okay. And uh, if you want to try some portion related to this topic, you can do it from your book. Okay.